Hello, and welcome once again to our annual production of Final Girl. Joining me as always, don't laugh at me, are <laughs> A, the Cinnabonniest of Buns, Bon, I'm A Bon, what's up, how you doing? Hi, what's up, I'm good, I'm doing well, I'm excited to be here. Good, uh, we have uh, Devin, it's a couch, not a Davenport. Hello, Devin. You didn't set me up. But anyway, I know, I won't. I won't ever again. <laughs> and Dwayne, the main man, Peden. How are you doing, Dwayne? I'm ready for spooky time. <laughs> well, you know it's tradition. I gotta ask you. And I'll start with Dwayne because you're so ready for spooky time. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, we do this every year, and so every year I, I always say High Voltage, which is a, like a French scary movie. Super recommend it. That said, uh, I also then pick one that I've watched in the last year, and I watched Scream 6 recently, mm. um, and it is one of the best campy horror slashers that like retcons a bunch of bullshit to make it like good or like connect. So if you liked Scream 1, 2, and 3 or whatever, 6 is really good. Heck yeah. Devin, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, every year I say Hotel Transylvania, but I was something I, I watched in the past year was uh, We Have a Ghost on Netflix. Mm. And it just came out. So there you go. It was, was it good? What are your thoughts on it? That's it was a good. comedy. Uh, there's a ghost in it. Okay, yeah, it's literally always, called We Have a Ghost. It's a he's, comedy. He's a scaredy so, baby. He's established this. He doesn't watch scary movies. And so that's like saying, scared. oh, have you guys seen Casper? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you seen Fatso when he like is really mad? You mean okay. Slimer? You feel like, wait, no, that's Ghostbusters. No. Fatso. He's the fat one. He's the fat ghost. Try, Which I'm is trying. weird to me. We should really get into that. We should talk about ghosts later. Yeah, um, yeah okay. Abon? I have a question for you, and that's, yeah. what's your favorite scary movie? Okay, like I said, I don't do scary movies. Mm-hmm. However, I do like Cabin in the Woods, but might I suggest a webcomic that I've been reading? Yeah, go for it. Uh, it's called School Please? Bus Graveyard. Um, Graveyard. Basically, it's a bunch of kids that went to Savannah, Georgia. They <gasps> run into some spooky that's where things. That's some tor- terrible things have happened to me. Yeah, yeah, they run into some spooky things. So when they get back home, they start dreaming around midnight, and they're like in an alternate plane, and that they have to survive cool. the night to make it to the next day. Dude, where where do they go in Savannah? We're going on one of those haunted tours tomorrow, actually, in oh. Savannah, here in Savannah. It where, was a haunted what a tour. Coincidence. Does it, it was a haunted does tour. Does it say that? Yeah, it was a haunted you tour that they went on. You need to look up this webcomic right now, Devin. You do, because is it made? It's like a husband and a you, wife you, going on a haunted tour. Yeah, you better watch out. Like, it's <laughs> not Devin Davenport, but it's like <laughs> they don't Daniel get to move Danielson to Kentucky, or something. Dog. Yeah, just don't, like, don't, don't, don't let some stranger just drag you into some haunted house. Just just pick one that you want to go to. Don't let so someone I, lead you Okay, in. of my own volition, I go into haunted houses. Yes. Okay. Uh, don't let someone lead you there, because you'll end up... What cursed? <laughs> Willing, willingly charge ahead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fuck with the actors; they love it. Oh yes, can't wait. <laughs> Me and Alex once heckled <laughs> the actors in the haunted house so much, a spooky clown dropped his chainsaw and said, "Come on, guys." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was the most like I was the most like. Uh... Somebody help me out here. What's the word? Excited, elated, sad. No, you, no, no. Did you feel good about it? Uh, admonished. I was the most admonished oh, oh, I had okay. ever been. Like I yeah, just, okay. it, it hit me so hard. I was just, come on, guys. People are trying to have fun. Just like, fuck. You're right. I am being an asshole. <laughs> nineteen year, 19 year <laughs> on, old man. me. We're trying to have a good time here. Kicking it. Like people are trying to get spooked in here, and you're like, come taking on, the piss. You're like making jokes. Don't do that. Yeah, you're trying to piss out of it. Come on, man. Mm. Yeah. It's not okay. Anyway. So, my favorite scary movie this year is also not a movie, just like Avon. Uh, mine is, <laughs> is the video game, The Quarry. Um, it's just oh, really was good. that good? <clears throat> yeah, it's like super good. It's like, the, I think it's the same people that made uh, Until Dawn, which was oh. the best. It was the best game on the PlayStation for a long time. Uh, I loved it a lot. 
and uh, yeah, it's just like fantastically like acted with the mocap. One complaint is they do not know how to do water. Every time water comes on the screen, it just looks comical. <laughs> it's just like all this beautiful, like, oh my God, next gen, that looks like a real person. And then like a splash is like, like PlayStation 1 <laughs> graphics across the screen. Like, wait a second. <laughs> Uh, but really, glory? really like good. Just a bunch of just water droplets all at the same time to, <laughs> to, to no. To be water. There's there's parts where the characters are like wet and like the droplets look hyper realistic on the bodies, and you're like, oh wow, it's really good. But they get into the body of water, and it's just like even the surface of the water looks really beautiful. <laughs> but once the sur- once that surface tension goes away, it just falls apart. Wow, it's very funny. Anyway, so let's get down to it. We're going to final some girls. Uh, the important thing is we've got to get our setting. We've got to get our story. We've got to get a background. we got to get <clears> it going. <throat> we got to get... we got to know where we're going and who's going to be doing the killing. And right. so I'm going to open it up uh, to you guys. We're all going to pitch one idea, uh, and then we're going to vote to see which one we're going to go with. So I think uh, patrons get a vote too. We're going to let, do we let, we let them vote, right? Or patrons that are on right now? They, uh, they, (laughs) they they can, no, (laughs) they can cast a vote in like the way that like the the people of Rome could cast a vote, whether or not a gladiator died. Well, it's it's like when somebody else is going to thumb up or somebody down, you know? Yeah. You vote for the president and you think it matters. It doesn't. Yeah. You can like put, you can put your opinion out there and maybe I'll consider it a little bit. Um, you've heard, you heard of people. I cast my real vote that counts. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start with Dwayne for no reason. <laughs> so I, th- I thought of this setting for <laughs> no reason, very specifically. Shane, your turn. No. Um, I actually do have a, my own original idea. Um, I am thinking um, it's like a like an open house, but it's like a mansion. And our characters are um, whoever we build in that, but they're visiting like this open house, and obviously there's got to be a realtor and stuff like that. They want to buy, um, it, like prospective buyers. Yeah. In there. <laughs> yep. But then, because we say the bad guy here, right? Like that's the whole point. Our bad guy is a ghost, but it's like a Scooby Doo ghost, and it turns out it's like the realtor the whole time trying to scare people away so they can drive down the valley and buy it. Can, can, I, can I pitch a, a little bit of a twist to that? Yeah. Of mm-hmm. course. Uh, it could be Vincent Price's house. And, you know, he's dead, so they're auctioning off his house, and that's why so many people want it. And then the ghost of Vincent Price, who was a common guest star in Scooby-Doo, uh, he's... he's Nobody knows Vincent Price is. I'm old. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I yeah, don't know I who Googled this man it. is. It's a black and white thing. He's, um, he, he's the, well, okay, so you guys know Thriller? Yes. By mm-hmm. Michael Jackson, that song yeah. from the 80s? Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, we're yeah. starting off strong. Uh, in that, the guy who says, Darkness falls across the land. The midnight oh, hour is close at hand. That guy? The guy mm-hmm. who does this... Yeah. this the stench of 40,000 years. That guy. Uh, he died in 93, Shane. So you yeah, can't that, use that now. So that's when it would take. Uh, yeah, the, the that's the bit. <laughs> oh, it's him. He's back. It's Vincent Price's house. <laughs> And everybody wants uh, to buy okay. it because okay. it's, it's just like, it's like if when everybody wants to buy the Hulk's house. And. I just that, that was my pitch. I get it. I'm old. Never mind. Devin, go ahead. What's your idea? <laughs> um, um, mine harkens back to Campaign 2, where it's mostly water. Okay. Uh, mine would take place in the Deep Dive Maritime Museum. It's this new, uh, completely underwater, like sunken ship museum that's opened. Uh, and so we're kind of the first group of people who've been able to go down uh, and check out this like giant museum. It's got a bunch of exhibits, and there's like a show they do. Uh, it's kind of a bunch of different things they have going on. So that's what I got for you. Sick. Uh, your your bad guy is obviously like a Dave. You could do you could change the ghost up, but to me, it kind of just makes it makes it more fun. Is like the you know the captain of the ship when it went down because they've just kind of worked around the ship to rebuild it as a museum. Is the uh, the big bad? Who's the ghost? The ghost. Ghost yeah. captain. Okay. Avon, what do you have for the glass? 
I'm thinking nerd convention. Think Comic Con, anime convention, we that kind of vibe. Did we did do that once. Oh, we did do that one? Mm-hmm. I yeah. totally forgot then. Were, yep. Okay. I don't think you were there for that one, Avon. No, I was not. I was like, huh, Nathan, I have Nathan, an idea. Nathan Fillion was there. Mm. Uh, it was a whole thing. Okay. Okay, well, second extra, idea. Extra, extra large two. gaming. <laughs> Play it, Ginge. Play it for the fucking people. I love that fucking one. <laughs> All right, second idea because I was torn between two, and my first one was already done. I'm sad. No worries. Well, you get the other uh, one. The other one is Magical Girls. Uh, think of Puella, Magi, Madoka, that kind of thing. Did you just cuss us out in some other way? Yeah, Sa- totally. Sailor Moon also. That's Sailor Moon idea. also, Sailor but like oh. dark horror and They're stuff, like superhero adjacent with like more steps. It's fine. Uh, and they're trying to be heroes, save the world, do all that kind of stuff. It, they're stomping grounds of their usual town of Metropolis City, wherever you'd like. Uh, and uh, our bad guy is like the little demon that they made the deal with to get their magic powers. They want their magic back because they're now ripe for the taking. Let me eat your magic. Ha ha ha. I'm big bad evil. Take over the world. I agree you for this. Like a... Like a- <laughs> you could have said anything. You could have chose to. You could have chose anything. <laughs> it's the first one that came to mind. Oh, I'll tell you. It anyway, <laughs> uh, my humble idea. Um, it was inspired by a bomb, uh, and the events of last year. Uh, this would be the cast would be all pets. It would just be pets in an apartment building and the scenario is all the smart devices in the world have gained sentience and they've taken they've like taken (laughs) out the humans and -hmm. they've just killed like the last dude uh it did not take them very long but all the pets don't know what's up all their owners are gone and maybe the blender's sights have been set on the next biggest threat to humanity box turtles (laughs) <laughs> so that's my idea uh, we're gonna go ahead and vote uh, if you and remember you can't vote for your own and you can only vote once Let, so let's recap <laughs> all of it so we got we got <laughs> pets pets in the pets alone in the world yeah <laughs> with uh, we would all be talking ap- pets appliances talking pets and appliances and we'll call We've got pets and appliances. See, the thing is, yeah. like, a dog could be really afraid of a vacuum, for example. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A Roomba could have shark teeth. You just think about it for a little bit. Possibilities are you, the endless. villain can be every scene could be a different appliance, uh, but whatever. Uh, so the that. villain is the AI behind all the appliances. Ex- you exactly know what's up. The um, villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> maybe there's one <laughs> last dude, and that can be one of your characters. I don't know. You you think about it. That's one idea. Probably not even going to vote for it. Um, another idea is there's a ship and it's got like a Jurassic Park vibe where they've built like this this amusement park around a real sunken ship. It's like a tourist attraction now. And the go- there's a ghost captain in it. That's what you said, right? It's a deep sea. <laughs> but it sounds... Wait, this is your idea? Is that, oh, I thought you said this is your idea. This is your idea, Devin. I was no, no this is your a museum. Idea. Yes, it's your idea. I thought he. I thought Shane was saying, I have this other idea. And then just... <laughs> no, up, no. Just no, said was, it There's a little the dude, dude, where's my car? This is your idea. No, I said it's your you idea. <laughs> Who's on first? It's your idea. Anyway. Yeah, no, this is... This is yeah, it's underwater. It's we completely have, underwater. We have Sailor Moon... Uh, but the stakes are really high because you'll get fucking murdered by a demon <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> who will suck out your, your your very essence to fuel his dark machinations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then <laughs> we have Dwayne's idea. I forgot what it was. It's uh, open house. Ad- adulting open house. And, 
and high tax rates because like, buying houses house. is scary. There's going to be realtors. There's going to be potential buyers. They're 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 here for the house home uh, inspections. And it's, oh, it's, is it is it haunted by the previous tenants? Is that what's up? No, it's haunted by the realtor, and it's a Scooby Doo. It's villain. a Scooby Doo situation. So, yeah. So it's like it seems to be immune to shit because it's a ghost or whatever, but the whole time it was a person in a mask. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to go uh, and order my screen. You can only vote once. You cannot vote for your own. All right. Who wants Dwayne's idea? Devin's idea. I, I'm Avon's going Dwayne. I'll go Dwayne's idea. Avon's idea. Shane's idea. Oops, all pets. Let's go. Okay. We cannot do all pets. It's so I. You have to understand so this. Does pets. I'm gonna. Tr- I'm gonna. Okay. Here's what I'm tell you. I'm gonna treat it an animal, just as if it's. Whenever you describe a, a dog, it's a brown dog. It's a. It's a. How are we gonna delineate? These have attitudes well, that's like also people. Devin describes people so, too. He so says, Look, "That's a white person." So, so there's a brown person. person. Uh, Look, that's a yellow. Brown. So Good. again, this is a, this is a talking animal situation. So we will be able to communicate well, yeah. with each other. Um, I figured, this, this is you can be you can be any votes. pet. You can be a parrot. <laughs> you can be a turtle. You can be an iguana. You can be a snake. You can be a fish. A fish in a gold bowl, in a goldfish bowl that's just working really on on RC car. And, and they've all got these <laughs> attitudes and these personalities that maybe you ascribe you you ascribe to animals. Like for example, if there was an English bulldog, maybe he's lazy. You know, maybe he's because he's got a big floppy face, and you just go with it like like a cartoon, Devin. But also, ha- the vast Never majority of these animals will be stuck in a blender. I feel like you've totally given over into your 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 hate of the furries, and now you're beca- you've become them on the high. This level. is this no, you so <laughs> this is not. You can't wait to be a. This furry. is not. You anim- been waiting. This is not you- people. This is not like a, a wolf man with his dick out. This is fucking. I- <laughs> You see you, Shane. Wait, hold on. You don't get to tell me what characters yeah, I get to make. You can't tell. <laughs> oh, if dude, you make I, that character, that's hey, on you. I that's just to, not on I, me. I accept this, even though we voted. Can I go first for character creation, please? Yes, you can <laughs> go <laughs> first for character creation, but we'll I, get I there. I have to do a thing. I, <laughs> let me go, please. Let me go. <laughs> you gotta uh, let me go. I'm doing a thing. I'm doing a thing. <laughs> all right, so we've got our premise established. Now we have to move on to casting. So this is going to be all of our victims and one champion, one final girl, who will move on to the 10-year anniversary finalist girl. Uh, all the, and, Never mind. I just thought of another thing that I have a problem with. Go ahead. Okay, tell me your problem. I <laughs> no, it. it's just funny. Later on, we have to like... I know you hate democracy. <laughs> are they friends? You fucking low they the hate vote. each other, or are they having sex? <laughs> Devin, can I ask you a question? <laughs> the animals. I'm just thinking. Can I ask you a question? No. In when that. you saw the Super Pets movie, did it like fucking blow your mind? Remember, that, remember that one where the dogs <laughs> and the cats <laughs> were hey, like secret saw, agents? It's, it's yeah. Kevin what about Hart. No, it's not a dog. Dory. It's, it's did that Kevin fuck you Hart. Up? Yeah. So that's exactly what this situation heaven? is. You can exactly. make your own Kevin Hart of your of your imagination and your heart and your dreams, and then you make him play a CGI Chihuahua if that's it's, what you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. Make a dog, make it a character, and These then are, make it an animal. Yeah, for hundred percent, dude. You don't have to be like, dude. I really got this. Fuck me up because I can't get into the mind of a dog. What do I want? Treats? Yeah, I, is I that what I'm going to be doing the whole time? It's just humping <laughs> yeah. legs. You want treats? That's how I get my screwing bonus. Funny, that can be funny. <laughs> But realistically, Actually. that's no different than being like, "Ooh, what do I, just, I want to be a dude who wants to have sex all the time." I'm like, that's not how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, who, what, you, what you're gonna you? love it, Devin, because we already voted on it, um, <laughs> and you don't have a yeah, choice. You don't really have a choice watch me end up having the most fun. Let's I bet this. you will. Yeah, you always probably. do. <laughs> you always probably. Probably. Right. All right, so we're gonna do casting, <clears throat> and okay. each one of us is gonna over. The, we're gonna go in order. Boom, boom, boom. One at a time. We're gonna, each gonna pitch a character. Um, that character is going to be a part of this world, uh, maybe not for a very long time. Uh, once we've all established three characters, we're going to be done and move on to the next part of the game. Uh, does anyone want to volunteer to be the scribe? I'm writing it on paper. I can't. Um, I, yeah, I think I could do that. I mean, if you want to type it out, 
as long as somebody's keeping track, it's going to be Abon for sure on cards. It's going to be very organized and nice. We can ask Abon, hey, how many points does this person have? I think it's this many. And Abon will be able to <laughs> confirm, and that'll be nice. Uh, and then for posterity's sake, in the future Final Girls, well, maybe somebody who's listening might I'll just put it live into the wiki. Who knows? Uh, anyway. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Devin, you want to go first the most. So yeah, I'm ready ahead. to describe. Um Give me one second. I'm getting this pulled up here so I can do this the right way. Uh, okay. I think that my first character is going to be... <clears throat> His name is The Chunk, and he's actually... He is an adult man in a flying squirrel costume, and he's... <laughs> That's what he is, and he, he lives inside the flying. I saw this for he, and he thinks he's an animal. He thinks he can talk with the animals, I, and so the machines so, yeah, did so my not premise, take him. The machines are like, beep, 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 beep. nope, that's a squirrel. <laughs> that's a squirrel. <laughs> Listen, I love it. you made the rules. I'm just living right inside the boundaries of. Uh, yeah, that's oh, not no, at all. You're yeah. flagrantly you're super, breaking. You're them, super within okay. the boundaries, okay. Toby. I love it. Go squirrel. ahead. Listen, here's the thing. It'll be the only one, and that'll make it funny. And he could die first, but here he is. I get no. I t- I totally res- like. I said I love it. I, I genuinely respect the hustle. If there wasn't a character like that, I feel like we would have been missing a shot. So I appreciate you taking the hit on that. Um, Abon, what is your first character? Uh, chocolate, a German Shepherd, who is a police dog, retired one. I gotta know who your first character is. Yeah, my first character is going to be. I'm typing this in the wrong place. Stand by. All right, his name is gonna be Ted. <laughs> Ted. Ted. Okay. He's a turtle. Fuck. So I Ted's a turtle. I gotta change mine. But, <laughs> but more importantly, once you get to know him, you find out that he's a human person inside a turtle suit. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's Ted the Turtle, and he thinks he's invincible when he's in his shell. Thanks. <laughs> can I can I tell you guys a real quick fun fact? Please. You know that scene in Master Disguise where he goes, yes. Why not turtle, turtle, in the turtle enough for the Turtle yep. Club? I think about Wh- that one all the time. When that scene was being filmed, 9-11 happened, and all the cast and crew stopped filming and had a moment of silence. But Dana Carvey was there in the turtle suit during the moment of silence, like head bowed, like, <laughs> am I not turtly enough for the war on terror? That's funny. <laughs> okay, fair and enough. I'm sad. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's just funny that it's, he was wearing like a turtle humor. suit. It makes you laugh such, and cry. At during the same such time. a somber. If you went to a funeral in a turtle suit, it would also be pretty funny. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Uh, it's I'm sorry. So your turtle's name is Ted. Does he have a gimmick? Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's invincible when he's inside his shell. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. 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 Uh, come the fuck on. Not a human in a turtle costume, right? Not a human at all. No, no, no. Thank That's. Goodness. I feel like we played that one out already. Okay, I feel like it's overdone. Uh, I feel yeah, like. I feel like it's, you gotta, you it's gotta, derivative of of, co- of popular media. Top. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Penny uh, Pen E Cushion she's a hedgehog um, oh that's good and she is super friendly she wants to just give everybody oh, a big old hug that's <laughs> funny Okay. Boom. Got it. <clears throat> Pen Sick. E. Cushion. Uh, and that brings us back up to Devin, right? Who's your second character? Uh, my second quer- <clears throat> quer- character. Quer- quer- character. Character. Oh, I is it's a duck. Be... Quer- it's a duck. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, squawk box. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a it's a, it's a uh, parrot. Uh, his thing is. Uh, he he calls out the um, 
like the insecurities that you have. <laughs> I, I think his like his his superpower will be he can talk to the smart devices, like because he's the only one who can say. Hey Google, you know what I mean. <laughs> Nobody else speaks people. I almost feel like it almost feels like a parrot. The the parrot could be the enemy because he's he's not human but can still give a twist. That'd be a cool. Yeah, I don't know. But Squawk Box. Uh, cool. Amon, who's your second character? Uh, Pebble. Pebble. A little goldfish in a, a little little bowl uh, who rides an RC car. <laughs> Hell yes. It's battery operated. The AI can't touch it right now. Wait, so is, is the fish like driving the, like the bowl is in a car that's being driven around or? Well, I was thinking the bowl on top of the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, so, yeah, yeah, okay. But it's being, it's tr- it, 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 this car is the, transporting this bowl around, but the, the, yeah. the, the fish controls has the controls inside. inside. The yeah, yeah. Yes, it's totally. wonderful. <laughs> uh, wants to live his life fast. <laughs> I live my life a quarter of the kitchen at a time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Dwayne? Damn, it's, it's, yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a couple characters rolling around. But um, I want to do um, a, I want to do Francis, the French bulldog. Um, and her quirk is that while she's massive and boom and scared, and like you know, terrifying to look at and stuff. The French she's bulldog, fucking yeah, French bulldogs. The, they're the, like the, big and. The, have you seen? They're the cute ones. They're called French Frenchies. bulldogs are still big. Wait, what am I thinking? Hold on. Nope. Let me look it up. If you do English bulldog, now that boy, English those are those bulldogs. English bulldogs can sorry. get pretty big, but the Frenchies are the, are the little. No, the sorry. Ones. I, we sorry. We had an English bulldog, and that's what was in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. English bulldog, English a little bulldog, bit yeah. of stout little thing. Um, you know, titan of terror, afraid of everything though. Spooked, spooked all by a heck. Yep. Scary demeanor, scared of everything. Yep. Francis. Well, I guess Francis doesn't work anymore. Sure does. Elizabeth, <laughs> the English bulldog. Oh, she's like the queen. Yes. Oh, she's a vampire too. <laughs> She's also. Uh, well, it's funny that you should mention that because my second character is going to be. Um, his name is Spud. He is, is he the vampire bat. A potato. No, he, he is the son of uh, Potato, the, Austra- <laughs> the, the Australian Shepherd who was I cut down in his vampire guy. prime. Uh, <laughs> and it's it's his offspring. He is. Uh, Half Australian Shepherd, half Corgi. It's a mix. So, and if you don't know what that looks like, every Corgi mix just looks like a Corgi with a DLC skin of the <laughs> uh, the dog it was bred with over top of it. Yeah, like it's like it's like it's dressing up as that breed for Halloween. It's adorable. Uh, so, yep, that's Spud, uh, and we will come around to our final characters. Uh, so, who is your last character, Devin? Uh, I think I want for going creatures. I think I'd like something like a um, a chameleon. Um, I don't know about a name though. <clears throat> I feel like Blender would be funny because it would. I kind of play on that. the. Uh, we'll call Blender. Blender. Trust your gut. People are gonna love Blender. He's gonna be the fan favorite. But he, I think the thing is, he like he tells you where he dies? he's at. I think he says, "Hey, I'm over here." By the like, he tells you even though he's blending in. I think he should oh. be colorblind. He what? Oh, I think he should too. be colorblind. So he's just like blends <laughs> so he's in the wrong, wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> colorblind chameleon. <laughs> now ain't that karma, uh, karma, that's good. karma chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> Comes right. and goes. Uh, Avon. <laughs> um, this is your last one. I'm going to call it uh, Nine, a black cat. I was about to say, you're wearing cat ears and we do not have a cat yet. Yeah, nope. Nine, the black cat, uh, thinks they're so much better than you, obviously. Be a cat. <laughs> yeah, just be a cat. Okay, got it. <laughs> so much better than you. Okay. Thanks. Uh, they will think they can grant you good luck. Oh, okay. 
thinks thinks it's lucky. Dwayne, your final character. Yeah, no, I I thought about this one long and hard. It's very important. My last character is going to be Olivia the Owl. Thank goodness. And her thing, <laughs> you thought I was gonna get your. Guy I was like, again. dude, I really only have one left. <laughs> oh, I'm. I, the turtle was a total accident. Um, so, so if you had picked my last animal, I would, I would have been scrambled. But go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, it's Olivia the Owl and her quirk. So, with the rise of these machines and smart devices, her quirk is that she like grabs them and re like configures them, but it, never in a useful way. It's either one of two things. One, always 100% useless, or two, she makes it into an owl house. So if she, like, finds a toaster, she's like, this is my home now, and guts it into a fucking house. Hell yeah. Homemaker. That's right. Uh, uh, My final character is going to be a ball python uh, named Sir Hisselot. And Sir Hisselot's thing is that... Uh, they're always trying to find the biggest thing possible to put into their bill. <laughs> they're like unhinging their jaw the second they see a refrigerator. Like, yes, please. <laughs> okay, would you like me to recap who we got? Yes, please, Devin. Give us, give us from the top. <clears throat> we have the Chunk. He's a man in a flying squirrel costume. Never takes the costume off. We have Chocolate, the retired police dog. We don't. What's the quirk for that one? Tired. All cops are He's, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> He's always trying to take everyone to jail for no reason. All right, so uh, Ted is a turtle, thinks that he's invincible when he's in his shell. Uh, Pen E. Cushion is a hedgehog, super friendly, wants to give everyone hugs. Squawk Box, a parrot that can talk to smart devices. Uh, Pebble, the goldfish, rides on an RC car with a remote remote inside of the tank or the bowl, whatever it is. Elizabeth, or Lizzie, the English bulldog, has a scary demeanor, but is scared of all things. Spud is the son of Potato, the Australian shepherd who was cut down in Vampire Prime, half Aussie, half Corgi. Blender, the chameleon, who is colorblind. We have Nine, the black cat, thinks that they're so much better than you. We have Olivia, the owl. It grabs devices, can reconfigure them either to be useless or ends up making them into something she can live inside of. And lastly is Sir Hisselot, a ball python, who's always trying to find the biggest thing to put into their goal. Every RPG player knows that the scariest final boss isn't Tiamat, Vecna, or Orcus. Why? It's none other than scheduling a game! That foul beast! It's no one's fault they can't make it. Tim. So how do we get a game together that is exciting, fresh, and worth exploring? The answer is plainly. Roleplay Revolution. Roleplay Revolution allows you to generate ready-to-run adventures in minutes. It comes complete with NPCs, monsters, maps, and more. What a hoot! Your adventures can be highly complex for even the most intelligent, or as simple as you require. Isn't that right? Timmy. Roleplay Revolution has powerful tools that let you tweak your adventure after initial creation, so don't worry about all those last-minute great ideas that you come up with. You start by just throwing out some of your favorite themes, movies, games, etc., just to get the juices flowing a bit. Want to mix high fantasy with your favorite RPG title? Go crazy! A mustachioed plumbing brothers in steampunk? You got it. Your imagination is the limitation. Roleplay Revolution allows you to create the game you'd love to run, but just don't have the time to write. To spice it up even more, let's assume that Tim and your other quote-unquote friends are indisposed for a long period of time. Never fear! Roleplay Revolution has an AI-powered DM named Oracle, that's nice, that will never leave and keep its time commitments. Oracle will run the adventures you generate for you. You can run the adventures solo with Oracle or have a GM for you and your friends. It's free to try, but we, Lawful Stupid, hope you'll hear this and go for the annual subscription. If you purchase the annual subscription and use the code Lawful Stupid at checkout, 
you'll get a whopping 20% off the total price. Head on over to RoleplayRev.com and let the games begin. So these characters we will come to know, love, and mourn uh, as we progress through our tale of the evening. Uh, we're going to do some introduction scenes first. Um, I'll kind of leave it up to this in terms of order. Does anybody want to do... Does anybody want to be the killer for the bloodbath scene? I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. No, no you do it. It's your premise. You, that way you can blend things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I can't wait to, to blend Blender. Um, so we'll start with then uh, Dwayne. You'll give us our first introduction, Devin our second, Abon our third, and then I'll take us into the bloodbath. We're going to be established. The purpose of these introductory scenes is to establish relationships. So as we go through, there are two kinds of relationships. There's friend and there's foe. And at any time you think that somebody's become friendly or adver adversarial, then uh, you, we will make note of that and they will get uh, some boons later on. Any questions on that? No. <clears throat> then we're going to move... Go ahead. Because they're animals, since it's friend or foe. What about cuddle buddies for the... <laughs> um, the the not for the the safer for animal the for, for the yeah. mating uh, <laughs> I think we might just go friend or foe okay because a lot of these these uh, most of these creatures can't produce offspring and they could cuddle but uh, I think they live well, in separate apartments haven't you seen probably. like little mice cuddled up next to I have seen I have seen uh, there, there's there's a particular documentary in which a greasy rooster uh, becomes the father uh, to a mother pig and her piglets, and it warms my soul. But we're here to be spooky. <laughs> spooky times, Avon. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with Dwayne. You're going to establish our first scene. This can be, and this is going to take place on Halloween because they always do uh, when the when the bots uh, start hunting for pets. We'll say it's, it's on Halloween night. Uh, so everything leading, if you can do something leading up to that while there's still people around, you can do like a scene after the fall or during it, um, whatever really floats But our fancy. concept is that the humans have already been purged and now that, the machines. I'm and, just, and I'm trying to get present day. I get the present. Go. Yep. hundred percent present. Present day is Halloween night. The humans are, are, are gone and the bots have just done their threat assessment and they go beep, 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 aminals. Threat assessment. <laughs> so army. And then uh, go ahead. one question. Mm -hmm. it, is it happening all on Halloween, like from start of day to end of day? Our tale, our tale will begin on Halloween. Okay. How about that? And maybe if it takes three uh, weeks, I don't know. Okay. Uh, all right, our opening scene is going to be um, uh, a grocery store, obviously abandoned, or maybe not. Maybe it's ran by animals. Who knows? This is a new world. But uh, it's characters like picking out candy for their candy bowl at home to prep for the Halloween night because they're still celebrating. Humans are not. Yep, I love it. Uh... Devin, you are going to pick a character first. The Chunk. Anybody? You can be anybody <laughs> from the list. doesn't have to be a character you created. You can be absolutely the chunk. anybody. <laughs> you can pick anyone on the list. You know what? Now that you say that, I think I'll still pick The Chunk. I love that for you. Uh, Avon, who do you want to be? Um, I want to be Pebble. Pebble, I love Pebble. Um, I will be. Uh, I think that since we're in a candy store, chocolate would be appropriate. Hmm. <clears throat> make sure, make sure everybody's still paying for that stuff. 
No, nobody steal. Not on my watch. It's just I'm open squirrel. Play. I'm squirrel. For squirrel. some reason, I thought Dwayne was in this scene, so I was just waiting Dwayne, for one more Dwayne character. Dwayne is actually so going to be like, the killer. He will interrupt <laughs> yeah. us at some point. Um, to, not in, in this scene. He won't be killing anyone. He'll just set an ominous tone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh well, I I need a I need a thing for my bowl. I'm a bowl. I need candy for in it. This is how this works. I'm pretty sure. That makes sense. Just make sure you leave the money. Gotcha. If you guys need things off the top shelf, I'm a big squirrel. I could get that for you. No, we don't. Oh, no, did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> did not like that. Yeah. That dog says no. Calm down, chocolate. Are not I understand. Big. I'll just put everything lower shelves for you. Who's this stranger? <laughs> Who's this strange man? <laughs> Here, smell my hand. Smell. It's oh, okay. Wait, smell my hand that- first. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> I got you, you fucking bastard! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stop resisting! <laughs> I'm not resisting. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Calm down. Just you're a good boy. Calm down. I'm just here to help put things on the lower shelves. Let me just scratch behind your head here. I'm telling you, this feels great. Uh, bribe. <laughs> Maybe I could let you off with a warning. That sounds great. Yep. I mean, I could do tummy rubs and we'll scratch the tummy. So because I, I know, need attention. I just I, just real quick, um, <laughs> Devin. <laughs> We've kind of broken the mold here because I know how we're 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 all talking animals. Are we to just believe that this man's psychosis is so advanced that he understands these animals and they understand him? I don't. This world. This world was like meant for animals, Devin. He. Sir, I don't know how he survived, dude. Yeah, he's broken. He gets like. He's the cool. bridge. I just. He's, I just he's want. The guy. He's the I'll, bridge. He speaks both. Turns out he's, he's the translator. He, he speaks d- animal and he speaks English, and <laughs> he's taking some German in high school. Is it too far fetched to believe all the animals also know each other's languages? Yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> no, okay. No. Have you ever seen We're cartoon all movies? Because they're, all they're the animals, animals talk, talk to okay. each other. Devin's the crazy one with the man who speaks. <laughs> yes. You <laughs> kind of are. are yeah. Devin's one playing of these the things is not like the other Devin. animals. Okay. You just wanted to make you just wanted to make furry <laughs> jokes the whole time, and now you got to no. live with the, your choices. No, no I, I, he's not going to do anything that's like weird. He's just, but it's funny now. He's, I he's took like it a off lone the man. <laughs> yeah, but he's. <laughs> That's oh, how gonna... much Shane hates furries. It had nothing to do with the animals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, squirrel. Uh, Look down. Looks down. Look up. Look up. Okay. Look left. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Look right. Uh-huh. Yes, looking right. Um, what was up again? This, this is gonna happen up. all this day. A good another one. A five second memory. You gotta be careful. Get to the point. You gotta go real fast. Oh but yeah, don't I fucking gotta go I, I I need the bowl, the one with the hands. Oh, and I uh, I'll I'll grab that and hand it down. All right, put it right. Put it all right on top, right on top. This is okay. This is good. Uh, Thank would, you. Okay. Who are you? Chunk? And uh, when when <laughs> that happens, you guys in the background hear uh, like a, a whirring at first, and then you hear the sound of, uh, the, you know, the air dryers in like bathrooms <laughs> like that, except for in reverse. It's sucking. Yeah. <laughs> Good words, not mine, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then you you hear what you all know because your pets and have lived in this time, the start of a robot vacuum. That deadly chime. Bing 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 bing. <laughs> bing bing little little ling. Get your bulls now. You'll you'll get brought up. Go go go. We gotta get out of here. 
I'm actually afraid. I'll go wait outside where there's no danger. Uh, I, I climb to the top of the shelves and try in my suit to fly away, like squirrel fly away, and he just smashes on top of other other racks of things. <laughs> and scene. Uh, so now we're going to go around. We're going to talk about uh, relationships that were established. Uh, I'll start. I do think that, um, and as I hate to, I don't want there to be any relationships <laughs> for uh, Chud because uh, Chunk. Sorry, Chunk. Uh, <laughs> because that means he will survive, but I do think that he's adversarial with chocolate. Um, adversarial? I chomped your hand. I scratched your belly. That was to get you out of my maw. But why did you? Wait, why did the dog bite me? First of all, I don't. I don't even know why. It was. It was. It was. Arrest. It was species profiling. Okay, that's squirrels. Fair. Squirrels are always a squirrel. Yeah, it's honest. Squirrels are always up to no good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I thought it'd be friend. I don't know. I so I'm not gonna. I, definitely not that. So I guess we can't agree. So there's no relationship. Oh well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one thing I will note, uh, just to remind everybody, you do want to play uh, to the spirit of your character uh, surviving and thriving and doing well. So each time you're playing a character, you will be acting in their best interest. I'm not currently playing this character and uh, I don't necessarily feel I need to act in their best interest. <laughs> uh, I'd say probably uh, Pebble and the Chunk. Chunk Chunk got a thing down for Pebble. Yeah. Pebble got some help. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty uh, You me. gave me a helmet. Cool bean. You want to everybody. Sick. So we're going to move on. Devin, uh, you're going to give us a new scene. Oh, man. Where are places that uh, pets love to go? Petco. Yeah, but that's a store. It's a store again. Um, it just rhymed, man. Like a spa? Like a, like a like where a, pets like, a, like to go. A pet spa? Let's do, let's do that. Is that the a thing? Groomers? Groomers. Oh, ooh, the groomers. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and I don't have to introduce anything yet. I'm like, you guys are going to do this, then I'll introduce what the thing is, right? The, like the. Yeah, you, you wait in a You'll, you'll interrupt time, us at some point. Yeah, 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 okay. Yes. Can't wait. With an ominous thing. You don't kill somebody, you're just like setting this. This is thing. just setting it up. Okay. Spooky, spooky. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I kind of like that. Like. <laughs> Right, but I think it's for I think it's for every I think it's for everything. Honestly, I think because this this is like a dystopian future in which like Apple can. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's uh, how you I, know that they have radicalized themselves. The, like the the Tangerine <laughs> Technology Corporation uh, is just so prevalent that they're like the only brand that's producing. Oh, this, and, and sure, everything's you integrated. It, it could have been the Pineapple brand. I it's almost went Apple. I own. <laughs> I almost went for it, but I'm pretty sure somebody's already done that before. No, oh, and I'm mm. and I'm all about being original, baby. <laughs> uh, cool. So, uh, Avon, who do you want to play this round? I'm gonna play nine. Nine. Uh, Dwayne, who would you like to take up? Mm, I'm gonna be Squawk. Old Squawk <laughs> Box, eh? Uh, I will be. Who's gonna be the best in the all groomers? Uh, I want Spud in there, baby. Give me Spud or give me death. Cat, a bird, and a dog are all in the groomers. Cat, a bird, and a dog are all in the groomers. Uh, I think what Spud will be doing uh, is this. It, Devin, you're in the scene. Is this uh, pre or post humanity? <laughs> or well, I know. think I think it has to be post, um, just based on nature stuff. I think you guys have figured out how to um, operate the equipment for that's, yourself. That's stuff to look good, feel good, and so you've got your own ways of doing that. But there are still some machines that are. Uh, either lying dormant or or running around the streets. I, I think we see Spud and he's uh, trimming his his uh, Australian corgi butt 
um, using a pair of scissors that are like crudely affixed to the wall and he like kicks it with his back paw to do little snips uh, <laughs> trying to get that you know that 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 perfect browned corgi booty Avon if I may mm-hmm. what if Squawk Box was doing nine's hair like that Squawk Box does like I- animal hair yeah sure I will be licking their paws as they let this happen, watching Spud uh, do the thing. It's like, then show a couple claws. It's like, you need a help with that? <sighs> I don't even know why I bother. I mean, the world's so dark, and like, no matter what you do, like, some monster's just gonna come around and fucking steal your dad. No, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. And they only care about humans. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm but who, actually. But who's going to tell me that I'm the cutest best boy? Oh, watch this! Hey, Alexa, say he's the cutest best boy. Bing bong, bing, <laughs> bing, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Every time when that <laughs> happens, Squawk Box just kind of does a jingle because his friends oh. are making music. <laughs> you are. From now on, I'll call you Good Boy. See? The machines are our friends. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. Except when you uh, run into an automatic feeder. Worst ever. Automatic what? feeder? <laughs> that sounds, sounds wonderful. Timer. Just really good. I want to oh, eat all the time. that sounds awful. Uh, have you tried mm-hmm. chewing it until you had all the stuff that was inside? <laughs> and ruin these teeth? If that it shows it, off teeth. Have you that- tried squawking at it a lot? And then ultimately not doing anything? Just nods. Maybe yeah, it doesn't do anything. Maybe run around okay. in a circle for 45 minutes and then pee on it. Why oh, would I ever do idea. that? Seems like a great idea to me. I don't know. I, no reason. Seems pretty- would you do that for me? Sure. I mean, anything. He'll do it. It's fine. Just fucking go <laughs> and just run. <laughs> Find me an automatic feeder. Somebody give me some water! <laughs> ah, perfect. That will certainly work with it. I believe Fuck here. I'm so nine, uh, we, are we doing a perm? Are we giving you bangs? What, what are we doing here, dear? Uh, bring it up a little up higher. Okay. I want to <laughs> do what the... <laughs> <laughs> Eat it? Yeah. Yes, that will use, definitely he doesn't work. Eat. Yeah, you get like a little, little scissor beak. Okay, I'll give you yeah, his, his beak. It's good cartoon logic. I love it. Mm-hmm, exactly. Mm-hmm. The squirrel's talking to people. We're good. Yeah, that's true. Squirrels are talking to people. <laughs> You're getting it, man. <laughs> Welcome to the game, everybody. <laughs> no, I've, I've, suspe- I've suspended game. my disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> All because of Devin's immersion. <laughs> yeah, I need to uh, look a little more scruffy. Oh, big uh, date? Or are you trying to scare mm, somebody? No, it's the I have to give bad luck today. Oh, <laughs> that's great. You 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 have to give bad luck? Sometimes. The other days I have to pick good luck, but today is bad luck. I'm pretty sure it's the human's day of Halloween. No, I yeah, that's candy day. Totally love candy day. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. I think I've seen some of those around. They're great. For me. Nobody ever wants their nuts. The I did. <laughs> Wait. That you don't have pity. yours? <laughs> what? Well, I lost my father. Me? <laughs> and then I lost the thing most precious to me. <laughs> Whoa. Humans are cruel. Also... I wasn't able to run for the full 45 minutes. I'm very tired. And I know I was I think, supposed to pee on the feeder, but I'm going to go pee on the bed for comfort. I think as he's running <laughs> around, he he hits something that drops a big thing of dog food off, and it shoots an, another, like a spatula shoots over to those pair of scissors on the wall. A pair of scissors fleeing off just over the cat's head, maybe cuts a little thing off of uh, Squawk's head too, and cuts this huh. cord that was taping up like the gas that would put the animals to sleep. And like it activates and a gas starts flowing out into the room, and that's where the scene will end. 
OK. Ouais. Euh, I think Squawk in that scene, I'm going to assume that's not poisonous gas, right? Because you no. said it was the anesthetic. I think Squawk being friends with the machine just flies at it. It takes a big, deep breath. Well, just to be clear, because some people say, put when they say putting an animal to sleep, they don't they don't mean that they're going to take a little nappy nap. Oh, I know. That's yeah. Why well, I this is like to groom. This is like yeah. not to fuel them. Yeah. 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 I yeah, said, yeah. I'm making so the assumption still, this is an anesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like, ooh, we're going to make you extra sleepy so we can groom you and you won't be yes. rowdy. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, the, and the groomers liked it too, right? They got high in there. Yeah. <laughs> One of the perks of working here, bro. <laughs> Just high all the time. Great. Uh, <laughs> so let's go through relationships. Uh, Devin, would you like to start? Or no, you, you weren't in that scene. Avon, would you What's like that? to start? Um, I guess I would think. I mean, Squawk Box and Spud both seem like friends. Yeah, I, I would nine. agree with that entirely. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. You say Spud and Squawk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Old Spudster and Squawkster. And then I would I would also say that uh, Nine and Squawk. Oh yeah, Nine and Squawk bucks for sure. Yeah, I mean they're they're grooming each other and whatnot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, anything between Spud and Nine? I didn't really feel a spark there. No. <laughs> didn't really feel that. Cool beans. All right. Uh, Avon, if you want to set the final scene. Uh, final introductory scene, I should say. <laughs> final introductory scene. Um, I think uh, probably like an apartment building. It's food time. Everybody's meals are like spread out on the floor mm-hmm. or across the tables. Like this is what the pets were able to get a hold of. It's just like they're um, uh, in somebody's apartment complex. Yeah, I think I think that all the pets are originally from the same building, and it's kind of like their their base base HQ. And, like all the doors are just open, and it's, the animals kind of have the run of the place. So this could be like their their most common of areas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, who do you want to play, Devin? <sighs> Chunk. I'm kidding. Uh, let's <laughs> okay. see. I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go Sir Hiss a lot, actually. Excellent choice. Dwayne, who would you like to be? Uh, I guess I'll be Ted the turtle. I will be a uh, penny cushion. Is anyone going to eat this couch? And just it, like starts to like put his um, mouth around the arm. I do just think you're supposed to arm. eat couches. I'm more partial to love seats. I shall go And it's just beginning to really open up around the that's arm of the chair. Uh, that's a lot of nutrition you got in there. Get you fiber. some fiber. <laughs> that's pretty he, cool. He's now around one side. The, like the the broad side of it. Jeez, that's... Mr. Toidal. <laughs> you sure are handsome and strong. Why are you spending so much time inside that shell? Why don't you come out and introduce yourself? Uh, I think he like gets a little bit smaller. Um, no, this this show's part of me, you know. It, it it's my body. You sure there's not it. room in there for two? Super sure. He like <laughs> brings in his like legs and arms, but his head's still out. Suit yourself, honey. <laughs> she st- <laughs> she starts to uh, apply some fingernail polish uh, to her clothes. Okay. <laughs> Slowly opens up. Oh. Got stuck a little bit. The gag reflexes don't really go well for what you're doing, huh? 
don't really have those. <laughs> I bet you make for an excellent date, don't you? I usually eat my dates. So you know what? I'm rethinking that well, hug. I'm re- no. <laughs> rethinking well, that hug. Sign me up. <laughs> you seem to be a little bit prick. Would not. I uh, would not suggest eating you. Oh, I've darling, you, you can have an appetizer, not just the full course. <laughs> you are a sassy little <laughs> porcupine. I sure. I sure am. I'm really <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> I, I for a second I wasn't I wasn't playing with Shane anymore. I was I was just I, was, I was just no, no. I didn't Where's see my friend? Else. Where is my friend? <laughs> what did you do? Bring it back! Bring it back! <laughs> Bring it back! Bring it back! <laughs> Anyways, um hmm. Yeah, I don't know that you know you should taste a porcupine. That's <laughs> I beg cool. to differ. <laughs> Madam. Just a taste. Uh, and he, he's, his mouth starts to go around the turtle a little bit. He's kind of like bumping <laughs> into it a little bit. But, hey, listen, you don't want to do this. You'll just have me inside you for a long time. <laughs> Boy, the so boys, so you don't right. have to fight over he's, me. He's, he's not even <laughs> fighting. He just like flings hands <laughs> rapidly hoping to like get him to go away. You do have a distinct advantage over him in the hands department. You do. Yep. Yep. So he starts hitting his nose and he's going to back up. You're just Sorry. like a lizard without hands. Okay. Not okay. Slim pickings for food. Oh my hero. And Penny's going to Penny's going to try to try to give you the give you the business. <laughs> Snuggling <laughs> Ted. Yeah. He brings his hands. Oh, it won't hurt if my if they're in. If it's just just be careful near my head. It's you not. You keep telling yourself that, sweetheart. The safe word is daffodil. <laughs> daffodil, daffodil, daffodil. What did you do in previous life? <laughs> well, I've always been a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Politics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, I was a police officer <laughs> As the usual ticking of the clock uh, Happens It feels about that time of day Like like afternoon you, There's the little beep boops Of the air conditioner And the thrum In the apartment building Where it makes everything rumble As it gets colder and Colder Colder Cool. Uh, relationships. Uh, I think I saw a clear foes between Sir Hisselot and uh, Ted Turtle. Yes. They literally tried to eat one another. Yeah, that's not okay. Listen. Consents a noise I make, not a feeling you have. Speaking of which, I would like to say that Penny Cushion and Ted are screwed. <laughs> I know I said it wasn't an option, <laughs> but now, oh, now, now. would I do it? <laughs> well, listen, Ted comes with built-in protection. I mean, truly, <laughs> when when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, <laughs> you will have this. That's how they make those fucking spiky turtles in Mario, dogs. I was gonna say that's where <laughs> Chunk came from. Oh God, no! <laughs> Don't let Chunk anywhere near when this happens. He'll be there with a the camera. It'll be super weird. Uh, cool. <laughs> so I, I'll mark us down as friends. Good, good friends, just like uh, Osiris and Declan. Good, good friends. <laughs> just good, good, good friends. friends. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. They're good friends. <laughs> and they were roommates. Uh, cool. So we're going to move on to the bloodbath scene now. This is where things get not so fun for our very friends. Uh, we have to see who has no relationships. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, that, that gives us Elizabeth Lizzie the English Bulldog. Uh, Blender the Chameleon, 
uh, Olivia the Owl uh, are all on the table for the bloodbath scene. Uh, you will each pick one. I think there's four on the table, so one person gets to buy. <laughs> one person gets to make it into the championship round. <laughs> uh, so you all get to pick somebody, and they will perish. So let's start with Abon. Who would you like to murder? Um, I feel like it's going to be Lizzie. Lizzie, okay. <laughs> Devin. Shoot. Uh, That's the character. So it's Blender, Olivia. Who's the fourth? Uh, uh, Blender, Olivia, and. Uh, you can pronounce that. Or chocolate. Just chocolate doesn't have anything. No, right? chocolate. Ha- I think chocolate had one. Uh, Avon. Not. Chocolate didn't have anybody. Okay, so no, chocolate's on the table. Spud didn't get anybody, from my understanding. I also, I don't have Squawk. Because you set the... Um... I thought, for some reason, I thought Spud and Squawk were friends. I guess I goofed that one up. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was good. No, no, they were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were. No. Because we did agree to that. Yeah. I remember that now. Okay, so... It's Blender, Olivia. It's the three we haven't done. Lizzie. And Chocolate. But it isn't always necessarily that way. We just tend to do it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Chocolate was in a scene and didn't get a relationship, so they are yeah, on exactly. the table as well. I like them though. Okay, I'll go Blender. Well, you might like these new guys. We don't know what they're even like yeah, yet. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dwayne. Go Blender, yeah. All right, so Lizzie, Blender. Then you I'm you can choose chocolate. from Chocolate or Olivia. I'm going to go Chocolate. Boom. All cops are bastard. Kill that fucker. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're saying if he's not a dirty police dog, he knew a dirty police dog and didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, so we, <laughs> we have Chocolate, Lizzie. It's the two dogs and a chameleon. Which is the <laughs> start of, of every great story. <laughs> Uh, and so this scene is going to be so it's Halloween night and all the animals have gathered together to kind of honor the spirit of their beloved owners who have passed on and so they're basically all dressing up as um, what they remember of humans which is based on uh, one collection of 80s Blu-rays that they found in the apartment so it's like Dirty Dancing, Breakfast Club. Uh, it's, it's, it's very 80s themed uh, human beings that they're all dressing up for for Halloween. And uh, yeah, they're kind of getting together in the apartment building to, to have this day of the dead for all of humanity. Hey, I like you. to think... Oh, what? Oh, what? N- not you. <laughs> The you behind you. Oh, you at, can... uh, yeah. <laughs> you can see me. I'm blending in yeah. so well, I thought. Well, you were standing next to a yellow bus and you were pink for some reason. You know, not again. I can never tell which colors I am. This one seemed to match. Oh, let me, yeah, move, let me move over here a bit. And he's going to move over in front of uh, Lizzie and just kind of try to just blend in with her, the shape there. Pick up a <laughs> paw. like, oh, don't, don't touch me. What I have listen, to to get hey, your color? Hey, don't go too far. No, you can't keep. Hey, hey, listen. Consent's important. You can't just touch somebody else. I gotta put you in a clink. I don't know what a clink is. <laughs> He's doing like this the chameleon like move. Where he kind of terrifying. Moves. No, it, actually, I do know what it is. You ever, you ever had the vacuum that comes behind you? That clinking noise. That's where you're going. Oh no! She's gonna like duck, like cover her face with her paws. Bling, Where are you hiding? Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> you're big and tough. Ding a ding a ding. No, I'm not. I'm side. the smallest dog. I'm the smallest, no, you're most a co- perfect girl. You're a cop dog, right? I'm not a cop dog. I'm a I'm a lap dog. What? My owner was the best. What are you doing with people's laps? That's not okay. What do you? My owner always asks for me to come up. Oh, he does, huh? 
Listen, you can't just do that to dogs. That's not okay. You guys hear in the distance, in unison, maybe 20, 30, bling, ding, 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 chimes activate in unison and the whir of everyone's wound as they all come to life at once and descend on one central location. <laughs> yeah, but I think before that happens, you look over and, and he's 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 laid on his back in the shape of like of a banana right next to a banana and he's like, how about now? Do I look like this banana? But he's like bright red next to a banana. Just on his back. I can't tell. And that's it. <laughs> Removing Phil. I think I think I didn't mean sure. to piddle. <laughs> I think for sure. Uh, he's just the uh, sorry, chocolate's just barking and barking until they get close and then he tail between legs runs away from it. Because that's what my German shepherd does. <laughs> and, and and in fact all the Roombas do uh, they got a firmware update in the night and they have grown. They've got giant metallic maws now. Um, they open in a very cartoony fashion as they descend <laughs> upon your your three pitiful pets, and uh, they are they are pets. They they will never grace another lap as they are devoured. I told you it's not okay. By, by hmm. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Rip is first blood. So now we will continue. Um, I think we started with Wayne for the scene setting. Is that yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's right. So, Dwayne, you're going to give us our next scene. Uh, we are in full swing of the game now. Uh, yeah. Actually, let me check my timestamp real quick. I think this is a good time for us to take a break. Yeah. We're, we're like an hour plus in, so we can take a little break here and get back into the meat of the game. next episode for part two. You've all been very bad pets, and you've made a horrible mess. I have no choice but to remove every bit of filth, including you. <laughs> <laughs>